I, I think it's, uh, it's it's difficult to, to pinpoint um, one or two things because I thought there were there were plenty of things that went wrong. I think you know ultimately our performance level wasn't there and we got punished by uh, you know a very very decent side. So there were there were plenty of things I thought we did well up until half time, but I, I thought the second half Chesterfield were all over us to be honest and thoroughly deserved the win. So uh, it's, it's difficult with the emotion of the game afterwards. You don't want to. Um, overreact, and I don't, obviously we're not going to overreact. But um, sometimes I think the best thing to do is just to take a breath. We we'll review the game now on the bus on the way back. Um, have a look at things tomorrow, and, and then properly see what went wrong. Second half in particular, how frustrating you just couldn't take advantage of any of those attacking positions you found yourself in. Yeah, our, our quality was really poor in the second half. We got into some um, you know, very good spots. The ball kept going behind for goal kicks. Uh, we didn't get too many shots off. I don't think we tested the goalkeeper. The one chance we had that, that fell into the middle of the box, I think he went wide. And yeah, that, that was obviously a frustration. Um, but so when I say you know it's difficult to pinpoint what went wrong, uh, that's probably because the quality attacking wasn't there. But also I thought we I thought we did get outworked as well in the second half. And it, it felt it, sometimes you know I don't I don't want to um, overreg it, but it did feel at times like they were running all over us. And uh, yeah, that was a real disappointment. Uh, injury wise, what's the situation with firstly with Regan Paul? I think Regan is, is OK, just twisted his knee. Uh, the disappointment with that one is that he was offside, the linesman slipped and decided not to give it. It was a very strange decision, I thought, overall, because that could have all been prevented. Uh, I think Regan's OK. He came and sat on the bench uh, second half and, and said he was absolutely, well, not absolutely fine, but I don't think it's anything too serious. And, um, and Tino's hurt his hamstring, so we'll, we'll see how that is tomorrow and go from there. Uh, was Sparks injured or was that just a selection, him coming off? No, that was just tactical. Sparks is fine. And the same with Rafferty and, and Swanson? Uh, yeah, same. I thought Raf was on that yellow card and uh, we actually found ourselves in a situation at half-time where we only had one more um, sub we can make in terms of the, the block of time so we thought it was the right thing to do at half-time and, and make that change just in case you know, Raf's was you know, if he'd made another foul and the ref said that's the sort of last one we didn't then want to have to burn our last sub doing that so we did that at half-time we, You know, it's been so positive so much this season it, you know, I guess it's, it's now a case of, of bouncing back and kind of figuring out what's gone wrong today yeah, I think that's the most important thing and um, it's just a bit of a cliche but these things happen in the FA Cup. I've been on the receiving end of um, you know, losing games to, to lower league opposition um, and I've also been on the other end where we've, you, know, you beat a side higher up. The most important thing now for us is, is obviously the league campaign. We've got to focus on the game Tuesday which um, you know, we want to win to get through to the next round of the EFL Trophy as well. So we're not going to overreact but there are, it's probably the first time we've we've taken our foot off the gas for prolonged periods in the game and we just weren't we weren't good enough and yeah we got what we deserved how frustrating was it watching from the sideline extremely frustrating I, you know I, I always accept um, results and, and at times we've uh, you know, there's been performances we've put in which have been decent and you know we haven't got the result we've deserved and one that, that springs to mind if we hadn't got that last minute goal against Derby and we lose the game, I can live with it because the performance level for the 90 minutes was really good. Today, it's very difficult to stomach because I thought we were, we were poor for, especially the second half. I thought we were OK, actually, up until half-time and we controlled the game. We obviously conceded, but I thought we were OK then. I, I didn't think there was a huge amount we needed to change, but came out in the second half and the first thing Michael Jacobs did was take on about six of our players, which, um, as good a player as he is, is, is pretty unacceptable for us. And um, we, we saw that too many times in the second half.